Hey, what's up? Welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel. Thank you so much for joining me for this very special episode where we're going to be talking about eggnog, specifically aged eggnog. Should you be aging your eggnog? That's what we're going to try to find out here today. Right now, this time of year, or maybe a couple weeks ago at this point, but right around this time of year, there are a ton of articles that come out saying that you need to be aging your eggnog. If you're a cocktail enthusiast, you have to be aging your eggnog. Well, do you? Do you really need to be taking up shelf space in your fridge for a year or longer to enjoy eggnog? Is it worth it? Is it worth it to keep that jar up in there uh, for an entire year to have aged eggnog? That's what I hope we're going to find out today. This bottle right here has been in my fridge for about a month or so. I made it for Christmas 2022. This one has been in here for Christmas of 2021. So it's been aging in my fridge for over a year now. Uh, so we're going to do a taste test. We're going to compare them, talk about what's good and what's bad about each of them. And then we'll, you know, hopefully come to some sort of a verdict about whether or not it's worth it. Is it a worthwhile experiment? First, a note about food safety. All of the websites that I've read say that this is safe to do. They say that the amount of sugar and the amount of alcohol in with the dairy uh, and the eggs makes it perfectly safe to do. They say that it prevents spoilage because there's just too much sugar and too much alcohol in there. Now, I'm not a food scientist, so I am not in a position to definitively say. I'm just kind of trusting some of these sources that have put this out there. Um, obviously, if you are a little uh, skeezed out by the idea of drinking eggs and dairy that have been around for over a year, uh, just don't do this. <laughs> it just It's not going to be for you. But if you are uh, interested in this experiment, a number of trusted sources have all said it's okay. J. Kenji Lopez, Alt, Alton Brown. And we're going to find out uh, one whether it's safe to drink, at least in you know this particular batch, and two, if it's any good. All right, so let's get started on this. I need to grab a couple of glasses here, and I also need to grab some ice. There we go, I've had this out tempering, so it's a little melty, but we'll just drop that on in there. Before we taste, let's do a little bit of a visual analysis. To my eyes, the one on the right here, and I'll flip these around so you can hopefully get a little bit better of a look, to my eyes, the one on the right, the one that's been aged for a year, uh, looks a little bit darker. I don't know if the camera's picking up on that. I hope you can see. I'll try to get some close-ups as well. Um, but this one just looks a little bit darker. Could that have something to do with the aging? Possibly. Uh, could also maybe have something to do with the spices that went in there. If I put more nutmeg in this, that might be a factor. So that's it for a visual analysis. Let's just go ahead and pour this. We'll start with the... Uh, one that's a month old first, just give this shake. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit over this rock of ice here. And let's try this year old one. All right, let's give them a taste, shall we? I will start with the fresher one first. This one's been aging for a month, cheers. And it's still really delicious eggnog. I've had a bunch of it already this year and it's still quite delicious. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like, tastes like your classic eggnog. I do wanna say that I feel like maybe, I feel like maybe the flavors have even mellowed out even just over the past month or so that I've been aging it. Um, it's not, there's not a booziness to it that you sometimes get with a fresh batch of eggnog or if you do like a single serve eggnog, it's, I'm not picking up that strong of a boozy sensation here. It's possible maybe some of the ice melt could be a factor there. Let's go back for another sip here. Mm. Yeah, there's a little bit more booze on that sip. Yeah, it's really good. The blend of the Jamaican rum with the Spanish style brandy that I used and the American whiskey in there, just a delicious potent combo. All right, let's go ahead and try the star of the show here, our one year aged eggnog. Very excited for this. Cheers. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> there is something a little different there. I want to try this with no uh, extra possible dilution from the rock of ice there. There was something in that first sip that just, 
I wasn't sure about. I wasn't frankly, I wasn't sure if I liked it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's a little better. Hmm. There's something on the back end I'm not sure about. On the front end of that sip, it tasted fine. It tasted like any other boozy type eggnog. The finish on it though. Hmm. There is something. Boy, I hope I'm not drinking spoiled eggnog here. <laughs> How funny would that be? Uh, if I if I if I sprint off to the bathroom because I start feeling sick, we will definitively know that you should not age your eggnog. If that happens, it's not happening just yet. There's just some sort of a flavor note here that I'm not quite sure I like, frankly. Um, I gotta go back for another sip to give this a try. I'm gonna go back to the iced one. Yeah, the flavor's there, just a little flatter. Yeah, that's just not as good. It's not as good. Um, it doesn't taste spoiled to me. It just doesn't taste good. Um, wow, I have to say, I'm a little surprised by that. I really thought that the aged eggnog, based on all the hype it gets online, would be the one that I liked better. It's just not as good. It's not as flavorful. Uh, the flavors that are there aren't quite right. It is possible that this may have turned, it's not, turned maybe isn't the right word. It's possibly it's just past its peak. Um, it's just not, it's not better. I don't like it as much. I really thought I would. I wanted to. I'd been saving this bottle in my fridge for a year or so, I really thought it would be better, but quite frankly, it is not. Let's go back for another sip. Here's our uh, one month aged. Yeah, mm, that's really good. To me, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but for some reason, when I drink eggnog, I get kind of like a bubblegum taste to it. Does anyone else get that bubblegum taste? Because I definitely get it in this batch here. If I had to guess, and I've thought a lot about this, I think probably that may come from the Jamaican rum, the Appleton Estate. Obviously Jamaican rum, a lot of you know this, has a funky banana taste kind of to it. Overripe banana it often gets described at. I think that the Jamaican rum kind of gives it a bubble gummy type taste. And to me, that's not a bad thing. I like it a lot. There is a banana flavor to this eggnog. Very good stuff here. Uh, gonna go back for one more sip of the aged eggnog to see if See if anything's changed as it's had a chance to breathe, giving, giving it a little swirl here. No, that's not good. This is good. One month, still good. One year, no. Look, do what you wanna do. This is not me telling you definitively do or don't age because the, you know, the process of testing and the process of tasting them uh, a year apart could be fun for you. You might enjoy that. But don't age your eggnog unless you want to go through it just for the fun of the experiment. That's kind of what being into cocktails is kind of all about, right? You know, partially it's the drinks, partially it's having a hobby and getting to do cool experiments. This is kind of a cool experiment, but the end result I don't think is worth it. I think the fresh eggnog, the one that's been aging in my fridge for about a month or so, I think that is the better of the two. I would reach for this 10 times out of 10 compared to this one just based on taste. So there we have it, aged eggnog, experiment complete. And I gotta say, hands down, clear winner, the fresh eggnog is what uh, what worked for me the best. Let me know what you guys think. This was, uh, this was kind of fun, went into this kind of with no agenda. I had some thoughts, I had some kind of expectations. A lot of people recommend doing the aged eggnog. And based on what I found here today, I would not recommend that. My feelings, pretty conclusive. I, I, you know, I, the worst case scenario for me coming into this was that I was immediately going to get sick and have to puke in the garbage can, which is on the other side of the uh, counter here. And I probably would have had a hard time getting there. The other worst case scenario would have been that it was somewhere in the middle, that there really wasn't much of a difference and that there was no real strong recommendation one way or another. But frankly, I strongly recommend that you don't bother aging your eggnog. Drink it while it's fresh, serve it to your friends, serve it to your family, and then make some more in November or December of next year. So with that all said, this is just my opinion. I didn't think it was worth it. I won't be doing it again. I will finish this bottle uh, before the end of the month, before January is over. 
Um, and I, I don't frankly see a reason for anyone else to based on what I experienced today, but I would like to hear from you. Are you someone who has done the aged eggnog thing? How did it go for you? Did you like it? Is it something that you would do again? So yeah, I guess I'll just leave it there. Say thank you so much for watching. and I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Cheers.